Well, well, wait, before you go to the cart, should you also buy a battery pack or are the batteries in the Xbox Series X controllers rechargeable? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. Now, if you are looking to purchase an Xbox Series X controller to either add as a secondary controller to your console so you can play with a family member or a friend, or maybe you're wanting to replace your Xbox One controller, then make sure you also do put in a pack of batteries in your card or get an additional battery pack that you can use in the controller. Now, apparently this was actually a pretty discussed thing in the internal development department of Microsoft. And it looks like what it finally came down to was that the batteries will not be built in rechargeable batteries like you can find in the Elite 2 controller or a PS4 DualShock controllers or even the PS5 at this point. Um, all of those come with rechargeable batteries inside the controller. And again, after much deliberation, Microsoft decided that this was not the route that they wanted to take. In fact, Microsoft had this to say, what it comes down to is when actually talking to gamers, it's kind of polarizing. And there is a strong camp that really wants double A's. So just giving flexibility is the way to please both sets of people. You can use a rechargeable battery pack and it works just like it does on the Elite, but it is a separate thing. So let's go over the pros and cons about not having the built-in rechargeable batteries. So one of the first things that comes to my mind is the flexibility that gives me as the user of the controller. I can choose how I would like to power that controller, be it batteries or a battery pack. And if I decided to use just straight out batteries, then whenever they die, all I have to do is go grab another set of batteries and put those right in. And so that flexibility gives you the option to either have a battery pack or just have sets of batteries on hand. So if your first set originally dies, then all you have to do is grab that second set and then go and plug those right back into the controller and you're set and you're ready to go. And it's a very quick process. You don't have to sit there and wait for the controller to recharge. But you also had the flexibility to go and buy a battery pack. So if you like the rechargeable battery route, then you can go buy a battery pack and you can simply put that battery pack into the controller and then just start playing it. And then if you do a good job about keeping that charge overnight, you probably aren't going to have an issue. But if for some reason the battery pack does die, then you simply, again, can just go grab a couple double A's laying around the house and just put those in there and start immediately playing again. Also, if you have a battery pack or you're just using simple batteries, then especially with the battery pack scenario, uh, if you need to replace your controller, you don't have to worry about necessarily replacing uh, batteries again because you already have that battery pack. It can simply go from one controller onto the next controller. In fact, in my Xbox Series X here, I originally had bought this Microsoft uh, Xbox battery pack. Oh, it's probably been Goodness, I would say four or five, six years now at least that I've had this thing and it's still going strong and I've replaced it and put it now into my Xbox Series X controller. So that is one positive on having the battery packed as well. And the other thing with the flexibility having this option is if your battery dies inside your controller, again, you just simply take that out. So your controller technically could live on for quite a while uh, as long as you are taking care of your controller. Whereas in the PS4 and 5 controllers with the battery being built in, it's not as simple as you know just replacing the battery. You have to, uh, in most cases, you're probably going to have to go ahead and replace the whole controller rather than just replacing a couple sets of batteries. So now that we've talked about the pros here, let's go ahead and talk about the cons and go over a few of those. Talk about maybe why not having rechargeable batteries could be a bad thing. And one of the bad things about not having a built-in rechargeable battery is you have to go buy batteries, obviously. So whether you go buy packs of batteries, you know, eventually those will run out over the years of the in the life of your controller. And so maybe you buy one pack of like, you know, 30 or 40 batteries, but it costs 30, $40. Well, so then you're technically adding that cost on top of the controller. And then as the life goes on, you're continuing to continually add costs to your controller, whereas the PS5 controller may be kind of a hefty $75 right now, but you know, it's going to last, it's going to be $75 until the life of the controller is over with, you know, or again, if you are adding a battery pack and you add that to the cost of your Xbox controller, which is $60 plus around a $20 uh, price tag for a battery pack. Now you're at an $80 controller, which technically is $5 more than the PS5. And so with that, 
flexibility in your controller comes a little bit of give and take where the controller may be a lower price because they're not putting the rechargeable battery in there but you are also probably over the life of the controller going to end up spending more in that case and you know if you are using regular batteries let's just say i know plenty of times in my case i've ran out of batteries or i forgot where i placed the battery so here i am rummaging through my house trying to figure out where the batteries are and sometimes i don't have them well in that case if i don't have a rechargeable battery and i don't have any batteries in my house the only way that i can play would be to plug in my controller batteries or not now that may not be a big deal to you uh, but some folks it may be a downside especially if you uh, sit further away than the cord can reach so that's kind of a quick overview of the pros and cons of not having the built-in rechargeable batteries like the PlayStation controllers do. And before we move on to the next part of this video, I'd like to know what side of the fence are you on? Are you on the built-in batteries in my controller side of the fence? Or are you on the side of, I like having the flexibility of using regular batteries in my controller? Now for me personally, I'm kind of on the, I like the flexibility side and had they just put in rechargeable batteries like they did on the Elite Series 2 controller, would I have cared? Nah, not really. It's not that big of a deal to me. In fact, as I showed you with here, I tend to use my rechargeable battery on my controller as well anyway, but it is nice to know they can always fall back into putting some AA batteries into my controller. Now, as well, for me, if the worst case scenario happens, I don't sit that far away from my TV, so I really can go ahead and just plug it in and let it charge while I play and then just remember to leave it on the charger overnight as well. The nice thing is I have the options, right? I can do all three of those things and I can make any one of them work for me uh, as much as possible and I can always continually gaming without having to necessarily worry about my controllers dying on me and not having that option. But for you it might be an issue if you don't have that last option of plugging your controller in and continue playing so that you can charge it while you're playing. All right guys, I hope you found this information valuable today. And if you are going to go ahead and buy yourself another Xbox Series X controller, go ahead and make sure you pick up a battery pack or some extra batteries because they are not rechargeable like the PS5 controllers. And now since you are getting a new Xbox Series X controller, then make sure you go ahead and check out the next video on the screen. And with that guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.